cover is missing. So we are gonna start with full dismantle of all the multitronic gearbox. This is from 3 liter TDI 2008 diesel engine. I never did this before. I never opened this gearbox. So if I did something wrong, it's not on purpose. This gearbox is bad. I bought it together with engine. I replaced one engine on one Audi A6. So I got this gearbox together because the back of the gearbox, the guy sold the bracket, the cover, which holds the engine on. As I told, this is the clutch pack. This is the engagement of the multitronic. All those discs. That's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna replace or I'm not gonna change anything, any of this. I'm not gonna fix this gearbox. I will have that gearbox sitting around. And I told why not to see how it works. See, this will go like that and going between those pins. This bleed out. Out. Here is some casket, and as I see, as I can see, this is everything from this side. No bolts. Here is some casket for oil pressure. Actually, this should be for engagement of the clutch pack. Okay. Now I will take out this half shaft. out looks nice short short half shaft and here is some oil from differential differential is it's built it's built in the in the gearbox this is differential so the gearbox oil is separate from this here is the to fill up the oil in the, in the differential on the other side is from here. Now I believe we're gonna have some oil, maybe one or two liters of the oil in here. We just found the best spot to pull it out. Let's see. I found I could I could drain it before. So if you're doing this, just drain oil from the diff before you split it. This actually looks very good. Actually, it's not worn. What to do next? <laughs> uh, next, next we are gonna collect oil from there. I clean it as much as I can. I sucked out the oil. Now we will go from the back. This cover, there is an aluminum cover that is going to plug. It's out, so bolts are on. I take that out. Here we have a selector or for parking brake for parking, parking position for the gearbox. Ten minutes. Three of, three of them. One, two, three. Here's the spring on the bottom. Here's the mechatronic unit. Oil pump. LDK. Oil pump. So, this is for the spring. Some sensors. Some actuators. 
so this is this is the oil feed pipe. You can see some rubber, like uh, this is like uh, cilia. So maybe sometimes you have to replace those things if the gearbox is acting weird. How does this piece work? So spring from the bottom, selector. Now we will remove this cover. So we are gonna use a piece of wood to lift this little bit up and then I can get access to all the bolts. Lots of nice spots. I might need for something. So I lift the buff of the gearbox. Here on top is this sensor. As this one fall out, this one should be removed and there is a circle. Clip. Circle. Clip. And let's see now. So this is the cover, so as I was crying, I didn't know, so anyway, you can put it this way, the only thing is you have to uh, remove is that sensor, circle clip sensor you need to damage, it's getting the bent, so you remove it, circle clip here, circle clip comes here, and look here is the oil that had damaged gearbox, as you can see, as you can see the guy is coming apart, uh, it's not because of, look, Came apart. Maybe it broke now, but I saw in one place where the chain broke fully. The so this, this chain is out of there. Look at this damage. This whole surface is bad, so it's not from the, this now when I remove it. It happened before. Yes, you can see this pipe. This pipe has a damage from the chain which was turning over and probably making some big news. This is only a small piece of the chain. Look at this. It's unbelievable. This was grinding. Grinding and grinding. Yes, here. See this? This was grinding. I saw it. I saw it was with the gearbox a little bit, and here. There we go. This is this is some oil feed pipe with the basket. Let's see. Uh, and this is the main. <laughs> See, this is sitting here. This goes inside. Here's some spring uh, and chain cut this tube, which probably meant to use a lot of pressure. This is CVT gearbox. Very good idea. Very good solution for for gears. But see now this piece. This piece is flat, it should be holding those links together, but this is gone fully. 
so yeah I think there's no need to open it more this piece from the housing and that's all it's actually simple you can see through my video if you need to change let's say the back housing or something so when you remove all the bolts before you put it up these two magnet they are not sensors so if I earlier said sensors this magnet uh, rings for the sensors speed sensors you need to pull them out there is one circle clip and housing comes out yeah that's all thanks for watching quick walk through the gearbox multitronic gearbox so this surface all damaged from the chain belt all came apart other parts not so bad but this is all garbage housing all removed to remove this part next step is to remove this nut secure it here remove this take this out this those bolts and hold this variator goes out this is fixed plate not variating sorry this is as well moving from this drum on the back uh, the, there is drum on this side drum on this side oil oil pressure moves it so you see this plate this plate moves here from this side and change it changes the the thickness changes the, the, the distance and that's how the variator or the multitronic gearbox works thanks for watching this is just the tear down it's not to be fixed if I would want I could fix it but it's too expensive